Welcome to another Word Defibrillator to kickstart your day with I, Sean Collard. The Word Defibrillator for today, where we kickstart your day with a word within the word. Continuing where we said, and it is of his own free will that he gave us birth. That's James 1 verse 18. As sons by his word of truth, so that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures, a sample of what he created to be consecrated to himself, raised up, set apart to be a physical manifestation of who he is. <laughs> then, out of nowhere, in verse 19, it says this. Understand this, my beloved brethren. Let every man be quick to hear, a ready listener, slow to speak, slow to take offense, and to get angry. Amplified version. And look how it breaks it up. Now we've gone through, um, if you're seeking wisdom, don't be a double-minded man. God is the giving God. You must uh, stand strong. You must consider pure joy when you encounter any trials. Allow endurance, steadfastness to all come out and you will be approved and through this test. And then, understand this? Let every man be quick to hear. A ready listener. So first of all, our default state of mind must be, I'm listening, Lord. Then, when we are hearing stuff, very slow to speak. And when we are now slow to speak, we've got to get to a place where we <laughs> are slow to take an offense and to get angry. I was speaking to somebody the other day and I was asking them just a question, just really a question, and they took an offense. And I'm, but hold on a second, I never made that statement. I never made a statement. I was just asking a question. They were so quick to take an offense. But Jared says, be slow to take an offense. And on top of it, if you take an offense, what's the next step? Be slow to get angry. Hmm. So there we go. We must have a listening ear. Be prepared to listen first. Then when we're going to respond, think about it before we respond if we even need to, and then be slow to take an offense and be slow to get angry. For a man's, for man's anger does not promote the righteousness of God, wishes and requires. Verse 20, for man's anger does not promote the righteousness of God. So this is why he's saying, when you're listening, be slow to speak, don't get involved, don't take an offense. Do not get angry because your anger does not promote the righteousness of God. Always wishes or what he requires. And I feel this should be the, the verse for today. James 1.21 So, which means now that I've told you about this, get rid of all uncleanness and the rampant outgrowth of wickedness. And in a humble, gentle, modest spirit, receive and welcome the word which implanted and rooted in your hearts. Contains the power to save your souls. My word. So is this really just talking about we need to hear what God is saying and not get offended? So get rid of all uncleanness and the rampant outgrowth of wickedness. And in humble, gentle, modest spirit, receive and welcome the word which implanted and rooted in your heart contains the power to save your souls. This does speak that God speaks to us with the word and we get angry. And that angry does not promote the righteousness of God. And if you want to kind of receive the word, you have to get rid of, of all uncleanness and the rampant outgrowth of wickedness. Now, wickedness is something that, for me, it's like, hold on a second. When last did I ever spend time in a word like that? Because, you know, if you're staying in righteousness with God, there's certain negative words that aren't part of your life because you're not operating there. How cool is that? So let's just go and see what wickedness means, okay? Wickedness means depart from the rules of the divine 
law, evil disposition, or practices, immor- immorality, crime, sin, sinfulness, corrupt manners, wickedness generally signifies evil practices. <laughs> and it says wickedness expresses the uh, expresses also the corrupt disip- dispositions of the heart. Wow. So what you need to do is just get rid of evil practices. Anything that promotes the kingdom of darkness, anything that opposes the will of God, anything that does not promote righteousness. Now, righteousness be, is in right standing with God. So if we are in right standing with God, there's no evil. So whatever you're doing, if it does not originate, if it does not bring glory to God's kingdom, then stop it. Get rid of it. And be humble, gentle, and modest in your spirit. Receive and welcome the word which implanted and rooted in your heart contains the power to save your souls. Now God does write on the tablets of our heart, but it's up to us to present our hearts humbly, gently, and very modestly. Modest is, I am so so thankful that I can do this, not you should be lucky, I'm allowing you to do this. That's not humble and that's not being modest. And to receive it. How crazy is that for us? That all we have to do is just receive and welcome the word which implanted and rooted in our hearts. And do you know what? It contains the power to save our soul, our mind, will, and emotions. All those things that are going on now that's causing you contention and causing you to get angry and fearful and feel rejected, and you just want to give up. And he's going, whoa, 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 hold on a second. Just receive it. Heavenly Father, I thank you that all we have to do is just receive. As always, just receive that what you have for us. Father, we welcome the word which you implanted and rooted in our hearts. Father, knowing that it contains the power to save our souls. Father, I, Father, we receive that now. In Jesus' name. Yeah.